Okay, so we're going to quickly look at setting up a standard layer state for um, drawings that have hidden and center lines. So this is going to be useful for your homework and for classwork. Um, so we're going to work in the, um, in the layer window here. Um, we can see our default layer has um, is this continuous white with the default line weight. So um, as our specifications are set, we're going to set this to 0.6 millimeters for visible lines. And now we want to create a new layer. We're going to make this cyan for hidden lines. We're going to load the hidden line style. Um, we'll just go with the default for now. Select that, and then this is going to be about 0.4. We're going to create a third layer, and this is going to be for center lines, which are going to be red. We want to load the center line style here. We'll choose that. And then we're going to specify 0.3 as our line weight, so it's a little bit finer. Um, and then optionally, depending on the drawing, you may want to create an additional uh, an additional line for, say, phantom lines. Um, so we can load phantom style. We can select that. And again, we can keep our 0.3 weight if we like. Um, the line weights are more suggestions since you usually won't see them in the model space. That's more that affects your printing later. And finally, we want to rename these layers to be something apparent. So, for example, this will be hidden. Um, this will be center. And then this will be phantom. One final note on layers. Um, you can use layer states to preserve layers. You can see I've made um, one called MET100. So once you have a set of lines defined, then all I have to do is go to new layer state, create a name, and then type an optional description. Um, and so this will let you preserve your layer definition so you don't have to do this for every single drawing. So just keep that in mind, it's a little time saver.